I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? One life, forever, one love, and ever, one soul. I'm dead. Today's January 29th, 2020. I'm Brent Nally, and I'm here in San Francisco at the second annual Longevity Therapeutics Conference. And I'm here with the CEO and co-founder of Juvena Therapeutics, Dr. Hanadi Youssef. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and you gave a great presentation earlier today. And why don't you share with us a little bit about why you're here in San Francisco and why you're excited about what you guys are doing and how we think we're going to tackle the problem of aging and age-related diseases. Sure. So um, I'm here in San Francisco in order to participate uh, and speak at the Longevity Therapeutics Conference. And um, your question was kind of a, l a little broad. So yeah, sometimes I throw out um, so you know, three-part yeah. questions. So. Um, I think you answered the first part, and then absolutely. And Juvena Therapeutics um, is actually based in Palo Alto, not too far away, and we are a regenerative medicine startup developing protein-based therapeutics that can promote tissue regeneration in the elderly by rejuvenating our own body's stem cell function. And you actually have a PhD in stem cell biology from UC Berkeley. Is that correct? Yes. So that's exciting. Maybe we can back up a little bit and see how did you get so interested in biology and when did you kind of realize that it was maybe uh, aging that was driving so much of these uh, chronic diseases that folks get, you know, in their older ages? It's a great question. Well, um, I actually started doing research at the age of 16 and I was really at the time focused on uh, cancer and gene therapy and so once I got to UC Berkeley to start my PhD I thought I was going to dedicate my life to those fields and specifically however I had met Professor Irina Conboy um, during um, the first year of graduate school and took a course with her on stem cells and directed organogenesis and it was then that I fell in love with the concept that by understanding the biology of aging and specifically the mechanisms underlying why stem cells in our body stop functioning as we get older, we could use that knowledge to actually reverse the process and rejuvenate tissue regeneration by promoting and activating our own body stem cells. And so I got really excited and passionate and decided then and there to really dedicate my life to finding out and understanding what actually causes stem cells to decline in function, what are the mechanisms of aging, and to use that to develop therapies to revitalize our bodies and prevent and even reverse chronic illnesses that happen with age. What an awesome thing to de dedicate your whole life to, right? Thank you. <laughs> um, and so that was, you know, when you were 16 or so, when you kind of started having these ideas in the first place? When I was 16, I started doing research at Regeneron Pharmaceuticals and fell in love with drug discovery and development um, and knew I was going to dedicate my life to that. But it wasn't until I started my PhD program at the age of 21 that I really fell in love with the biology of aging and knew that that specifically was what I was going to focus my career and my life um, in understanding okay, awesome. and pursuing. So due to the interest of time, maybe you can tell us a little bit about Juvena Therapeutics and share with us maybe where you got the idea from, how long you've been thinking about it, and where you guys are right now and what your aspirations are and, and your you know, plans for the future. Um, sure. So. Our uh, key approach and how we're actually developing these protein therapeutics for tissue regeneration is based on a key discovery made during my PhD work by my colleagues and I where we had isolated proteins that are produced and secreted by the most pro-regenerative source on planet Earth for human beings, which are human embryonic stem cells, pluripotent stem cells, which, as we know, have the capacity to
to create every tissue in the body, an entire human being during development. And what we discovered is that by isolating a subfraction of proteins that they themselves produce and secrete in order to signal to stem cells to differentiate and create every tissue type, by isolating these proteins and adding them directly onto old human stem cells, or even injecting these human proteins into injured, aged mice that are equivalent to people in their 80s, we saw a level of stem cell rejuvenation and an increase in muscle regeneration to levels of younger animals that are like people in their 20s. So when we made this discovery, we knew we wanted to get this to people, get these human proteins to people in order to really promote tissue regeneration and reverse the degenerative processes that happen in our body, particularly in muscle. Um, it's a, uh, an unfortunate fact of life that once we hit our 30s, every single year for the rest of our lives, we're losing muscle mass and strength. I'm 34. I can attest to that. <laughs> you can start to feel it going down. I, I'm, I'm yeah. uh, almost 33, and I, I completely agree. Yeah. And what's even more scary is that it accelerates with every decade, so that by the time we're in our 60s, many of us have such bad muscle wasting that we can actually be clinically diagnosed with a disease of muscle wasting known as sarcopenia. Yep. And there's, as we all um, might relate to with our loved ones and our you know, parents, grandparents, is an increased incidence of fall injury. And this is in part due to the fact that our muscle tissues, our muscle, no longer can function properly when we're older and our stem cells that are responsible during an injury or even during exercise to become activated and uh, differentiate and form new muscle fibers stop functioning in the old environment, in the old inhibitory environment um, where our muscle stem cells no longer are getting the right signals to become activated and divide properly and form new fibers. And so I can keep going. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all good stuff. So it seems like the target audience would be any humans who are over the age of 30 and who might be wanting either that extra edge if they're maybe somewhere on our age or elderly folks who, you know, are really in decline and are looking to, you know, improve muscle mass and things like that. Is, is that fair to say or am I uh, it's, um, it's almost accurate. So it's always uh, best to try and target the aging process and enhance tissue regeneration and return your body to a homeostatic level the younger you are, right? So if you can stop this in your 30s or 40s or at least slow it down, you're much more likely to um, be strong and have all your functions and, and uh, very few if any chronic illnesses later in life. That said, unfortunately, the FDA does not recognize the aging process itself to be a disease. So we cannot create therapeutics and get it FDA approved and administer it through uh, doctors to patients if they don't actually have a chronic disease that has a reimbursable clinical indication associated with it. Gotcha. So that said, we will first be, um, with our protein therapeutics, targeting the elderly population that might be, for example, in their 60s to 80s, who have such bad muscle wasting that they can be clinically diagnosed with with the disease of sarcopenia or who have had a terrible fall injury or surgery and after that surgery are in need of enhancing their muscle regeneration and wound healing process. So I can think of personally my wife's grandmother is currently 95 and about 13 months ago December of 2018 she fell and broke her hip and I you know because I research aging quite a bit and I geek out on this stuff I was not too optimistic, but she has beaten the odds and she recovered actually really well. And she's doing well today at 95. Um, but it Wonderful. sounds like she would potentially be somebody, you said 60 to 80, but- Absolutely, yeah. she would definitely be a um, someone that could benefit from juvenile therapeutics, proteins, especially 
right after that hip replacement, which is a very aggressive surgery. Right. You know, getting our proteins injected directly into that injured area in order to really accelerate and promote regeneration and reduce scar tissue formation. Um, and that would be really helpful in the later stage recovery and really rebuilding that muscle strength and mass. Okay. Um, well, that's fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about the process that you guys use to um, create the protein, the product, or is that too proprietary right now to discuss? Um, well, what I can share is that, you know, when we first made this discovery and uh, really kind of saw that these proteins that are produced by human embryonic stem cells and secreted have the capacity to regenerate aged tissues. While we wanted to immediately bring that to market, it was actually unfeasible, and it remains unfeasible, to really take a cocktail of hundreds of unknown proteins that are produced in very small quantities in cells and culture and try to mass produce it and administer it to people. Uh, it would be very dangerous, it would be not very well, it could potentially be dangerous. It would mm -hmm. not be very well regulated, it would be very hard to get FDA approval. And so in order to get this to the clinic, to people, Juvena Therapeutics has built a very efficient and proprietary AI-enabled drug discovery platform where we have efficiently identified what the key proteins in this complex mixture of secreted proteins are through unbiased mass spec based uh, proteomic discovery, quantitative proteomics, and actually have screened them in very efficient high throughput screening assays for their ability to on their own or in combinations rejuvenate old human stem and precursor cells. And once we got hits through the screening, we then tested our proteins in preclinical animal models of muscle wasting, um, of muscle injury, and have actually shown that several of our proteins on their own or in combination can act just like the complex mixture and enhance regeneration. And now that we know what the protein sequences are, what their identities are, we can use that to take advantage of the technology that revolutionized the pharmaceutical industry uh, over the last few decades. And namely, what that is is recombinant DNA technology. And the ability, once we know the sequence of a protein, to mass produce it now and distribute to millions if not billions of people. Uh, proteins are natural to the body, to what the body already makes in order for cells to communicate and to instruct our body to do anything. And so that's part of the reason why biologics, which are protein-based therapeutics, mm -hmm are in fact the most successful and lucrative category of therapeutics. And so Juven is taking advantage of existing technology and our discoveries and our unique and proprietary AI-enabled drug discovery platform to really bring to market specific protein therapeutics that are highly regulated, um, safe, um, and very efficient at what they do for specific reimbursable clinical indications of age-related diseases. That's awesome. Now, uh, it's about 6.15 or so here. We've been here all day. This is the second day of the conference, and we have one more day tomorrow. So I definitely want to respect your time. I'm really appreciative that you've been able to sit down with us and share this with our audience. I want to give you an opportunity to share where folks can find out more information. Um, we're going to have links in the show notes below, so make sure you guys check that out. Now, Juvena Therapeutics obviously will have the uh, link to your website in there, and we can maybe plug in your LinkedIn or any other social media that you want folks to follow you on, or what's the best way for folks to get in touch or find you I guys? I think you, uh, you, you know, hit it, right? Um, first and foremost, definitely check out our website. We have uh, my publications, my co-founder, who's an incredible world-class proteomic expert, and our amazing world-class team and their information and, and previous discoveries on our website and more information about what Juvena Therapeutics is doing and accomplishing. Um, also, uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn and I'm, I'd be happy to uh, stay in touch and appreciate your interest and support. Forever young, I want to be forever young. 
Do you really want to live forever? One life, forever, one love, and ever. One soul.